Hey, St. John family, welcome to another week's children's worship service lesson. I hope you had a great week. I hope you were kind and helpful, and I hope you learned a lot. Before we get started, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for allowing us this time to study your word. We pray that this lesson reminds us of how much you love us, God, and the plans that you have for us. So remove any distractions right now as we receive this lesson. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let me be the first to welcome you to the High Wire Circus. At the circus, you'll be amazed, shocked, inspired. We have a lot of amazing stories and great adventures ahead. You won't want to miss a single moment. We're at the circus all month to talk about something important, trust. And remember, trust is putting your confidence in something you can depend on. You know, think about how the performers at the circus have to trust each other. Like, you know, that's the only way they can stay safe and, and defy the laws of gravity. If you think about it, we put our trust in people all the time. We trust our families to take care of us at home, our teachers at school, our church leaders here at church. Most importantly, we can put our trust in God. We can believe that God is always working in our lives. And it's a basic truth. We can trust God no matter what. As we continue our journey through God's big story this month, we'll see how people trusted God through all kinds of ups and downs in their lives. And I can't wait. But before we get there, it's time for worship. We have a new song to teach you today, and it's called Over and Over. Repeat that after me. My God can be trusted over and over and over again. All right, so sing along when you catch on. You ready? Here we go.
So listen to David's words about God in Psalms 40 and 3. He gave me a new song to sing. It is a hymn of praise to our God. Many people will see and have respect for the Lord. They will put their trust in him. I love that. I'm choosing right now to give God my trust. Even when we're waiting, even when we feel uncertain or confused, we can choose to trust God. It, it's really true, that basic truth. We can trust God no matter what. So let's get started with our lesson. Here we go. All right, everyone. So today we're picking up where we left off in God's big story. Now let me catch you up so you remember where we've been so far. In the beginning, God created the world from nothing. God spoke and everything was formed. God made light and dark, planets and stars, the seas and the lands and all the animals. And, and finally, God made people. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve turned away from God and sin into the world. Still, God always had a plan to make things right again. God made a special promise to a man named Abram, who was later known as Abraham. Abram's wife was named Sarai. Later, God changed her name to Sarah. God promised to bless the whole world through Abraham and Sarah's family. God told Abraham to look up at the stars in the night sky and try to count them. That's how many children would be in his family. But Abraham and Sarah waited and waited for many years. And still, they didn't have any children. That's where we'll pick up to, to, uh, our story today. So as I said a minute ago, Abram was given the name Abraham by God, meaning he would be the father of many nations. From this point, he, he's given his full name. God also gave his wife Sarai the name Sarah promising that she would have a son even though she was 90 years old. While Abraham was sitting near the entrance to his tent near the great tree of Marmi, he looked up and saw three men standing nearby. The Bible tells us that one of these was the Lord. Abraham bowed down and said, Let me bring you water to wash your feet, and then rest here while I bring you food. When you are finished and refreshed, you can go on your way. Abraham rushed back to Sarah to, to, uh, to ask her to bake fresh bread. He chose choice calf and, and gave it to the servant to slaughter and cook the meat. Then he poured his fresh milk and curds and served it to his guests. Where's your wife Sarah? They asked him. In the tent, Abraham replied. Then one of them announced, I will return around the same time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. Sarah was listening near the entrance of the tent. She laughed as, <laughs> as she thought, I'm too old to have children, and so is Abraham. The Lord asked Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Will I really have a child now that I'm old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return at the appointed time next year, and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I, I did not laugh. But the Lord replied, Yes, you did laugh. The men got up to leave, and Abraham walked along with them to see them on their way. The Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham what I am about to do? Abraham's descendants will become a great nation. And all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him. I have chosen him, and the Lord will bring about all he has promised to do. Even though Sarah laughed, and she did not believe that God could do what he said he was going to do. Um, of course, it was impossible for them to have children now. At least that's what she thought. Yet the Lord was kind to Sarah and kept his promise. The next year, miraculously, Abraham and Sarah had a son. Abraham was now 100 years old. He gave his newborn son the name Isaac. Isaac means he laughs. Abraham lovingly watched his son grow from being a baby into a young boy. Abraham and Sarah had to wait a very long time for God's promise to come true. But 
in the end, they did have a son, just as God said. We can see in this story that God is trustworthy. If God promises something, you can trust that it will happen. It's important that we learn to trust God when we have, have to wait. That's what we need to remember for today. It's our bottom line. Trust God even when you have to wait. We can trust God whether things go as we expected or they don't. We can trust that God is good and God always has a bigger plan. So let's pray. God, thank you. Thank you for showing us that we can count on you. Sometimes it's hard to wait when there's something we hope will get or something that we hope will happen and it doesn't happen. But we know that through it all, you are trustworthy. You're with us and you are good. That's true even when things in our lives don't seem to make sense. So help us wait patiently and trust you. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. To Abraham and Sarah, it didn't look like God's promise would come true. But nothing is impossible for God. God gave Sarah and Abraham a son, even in their old age. Remember, you can trust God even when you have to wait. Say that with me. Trust God even when you have to wait. Through Abraham's family, God blessed the whole world by giving us Jesus. Abraham's son Isaac had a son who had a son who had a son and on and on it went for generations until Jesus was born. Jesus is the promised Savior God's people had been waiting for. He died to save us from our sins and to restore a relationship with God. This was God's plan from the beginning and it started with God's promise to Abraham. Now I know it can be tough to wait, especially when you're waiting for something you might want right now. Maybe you've asked your parents if you could get a puppy or or your parents said you have to wait until you're older. Or maybe you have to wait every day while your younger siblings get dropped off at school. Maybe someone in your family is sick and you, you have to wait for test results from the doctor. Even while we're waiting, we can trust God. Even if things don't go our way, they don't go the way we expected, we can still trust God. And we can trust that God knows what's best for us. We can believe that God is good and God is in control. So I leave you with this. It's our memory verse for the month. And it's Proverbs chapter 3 at verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. So when this video ends, we've continued this discussion about ways that we can show trust while we wait. So until I see you again, may God bless you. Come on.